Hallelujah, praise. Master Jesus, God bless each and everyone watching and connecting in the name of Jesus. Finally, God is only doing this because of your mother. I take it again. Finally, the Lord is doing this particular thing because of your mother in the name of Jesus. God bless you wherever you're watching in the name of Jesus. This is Prophetic Blessings. You're very much welcome with Pastor Basil. God bless you in Jesus' name. If you have not yet been part of this family, do where to click on the subscription button, to subscribe, to like, and to share this word for in Jesus' name. By so doing, we are making it visible for others. The Lord gave me a word and a scriptures in the Bible. And at the place of prayers, actually the Lord says, this particular word is going to somebody you are watching me in the name of Jesus. To this particular person, the problem that you have been fighting is from bed. The problem that you have been crying to solve every day is from bed. The problem that has been haunting you is from bed in the name of Jesus. I want you to stay with me. Stay with me from the beginning to the end of this particular prophetic word in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, the Bible gave me, the Lord gave me this particular scripture in the book of Acts of Apostle chapter number 14. I think I'm going to read verse 8, verse 9, and verse 10 in the name of Jesus. Verse 8 says, in Lystra, they said a man who was who was lean and had been that way from bed and had never walked. Verse 9. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him, saw that he had faith to be healed. Verse 10. And called out, stand up on your feet. At that, the man jumped up and began to walk. Hallelujah. This particular act of apostle. Chapter number 14, the Bible talks of a man that was lame from bed. So when we look into this scripture, we realize that this man was, the, the, the issue, the sickness or the problem of this man was from bed. So what the mother carried for nine months was crippled, was a crippled. There are people watching me, they are saying, Pastor Basil, I am not crippled. Then how am I connected to this particular prophetic word? Is there difference between somebody that is physically crippled and you that is financially crippled? There are people watching me, they are financially crippled. Some people watching me, they are physically crippled. Some are spiritually crippled. Some are socially crippled. You cannot be able to talk where your mates are talking because you are crippled. You cannot be able to talk where married women are talking because you are crippled. You cannot be able to talk where mothers are talking because you are crippled. So this guy grew up as a cripple. And there was a particular place where this guy always stand to beg for arm. The Bible says... This man was at the place begging for arm. One day he heard Paul preaching. The same way you are hearing my voice today. He heard Paul preaching. What was the message of Paul? Paul was preaching to people, telling them, if you accept Jesus, if you believe that God can do this, he will do it for you. As Paul was preaching, this man was hearing the voice from afar. He told the mother, Mama, take me to church. Take me to where the man of God is preaching. In other words, I want to be a member of this ministry. And in other words, I want to go. I want to hear that man. I want to see that man. You are watching me. This is this call for consent for you. If you have not yet subscribed, you are telling God, Father, I want to become part of this family. Hallelujah. So whenever the word of God is being released, I will be part of those that will be eating your words every day. Hallelujah. If you are touched by the Lord, I want you to tap on the subscription button. It takes you nothing. You're liking and you're sharing so that the gospel of Jesus Christ can go viral in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the mother took this man to church. This young man insisted. The mother took this man to church. The mother carried this cripple to church. The Bible says when the, the, the Paul saw this man, Paul looked directly on the eyes of this man. In other words, Paul was looking into the situation and problem of this man. Paul saw that he had faith to be healed. I have come to speak to somebody. You are watching me right now. You are, you are tired of that financial uh, 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 situation. You're financially crippled. You're tired. You're spiritually crippled. You're tired. You're maritally crippled. You're tired. In all areas of your life, in one way or the other, you have been crippled. And right now, you feel as to give up. Listen to me. This word is coming to you. The Bible says when Paul fastened his eyes directly on this man, Paul said, rise up and walk. This man walk, jumped up. 
Hallelujah. He never rose and began to walk. He began to jump. I have come to speak a word. The title of this particular prophetic word says, God is doing this because of your mother. The, if the mother was not there, this cripple could have never has been in church. But because the mother was there, I saw somebody under the sound of my voice. Grace to the altar of your mother. Heaven is about to open for you. Grace to the altar of your and the prayers of, of your mother. Heaven is about to open. A new season is opening for you. I have come with this word. This is an instant word that is changing your life. I declare and I decree as in any area of which you are crippled in your life, as you hear my voice, let that situation receive right life. Let that situation receive life. Let that situation receive life. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, people of God. For in Jesus' mighty name. I'm waiting for your testimony. Do well to share this particular prophetic word. God bless you as you're sharing. For in Jesus' name. Amen.